Hello everyone and welcome back to a real quick Astro Near video, this time on the topic of animations. Now I am currently in the Astro Invaders build as I am still working on this and there's still some things I need to do but it is getting pretty close to being complete. And one of the things that I have going on in these side left and then side right columns is a little bit of like animations and things happening to kind of make it look like a classical arcade machine. Now, as I said, here is the first state of my alien. Now, I actually wanted to animate this, and in the process of doing so, I realized that some people might want to do something similar or might not know how to do it, and hence the creation of this video to give you guys an idea of how. Now, first things first, this animation, what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to have the alien do a little bit of a dance. Now, because it's only going to be changing certain floodlights, I opted to have a second button that would turn off the significant floodlights and then turn on the next ones. So as you can see, it turns off these four and then it turns on the four that are now on with the legs. And it kind of looks like it's doing like the YMCA almost. And if you toggle it fast enough, it looks like it's dancing back and forth. And that's really all animations is at the heart of things. You're going to have an initial state, you're going to toggle some floodlights and you're going to get to the next state. And the way that I actually do this inside the actual game is I essentially have a series of delay repeaters. This first delay repeater will turn on the first state of the alien. This will make it dance. Now, because I have other steps that require four sequences, this one will once again go back to the previous state, and then this one will once again go back to the dance state. So when I cycle around at the start, everything goes back to where it was originally. Once again, this is something that I have uh, prepared for multiple different types of animations, and I can show you that now. The other animation that I have going is this spaceship that is actually shooting this alien. Um, as you can see, we're about to restart. First state is the spaceship, first shot, second shot, third shot, remove, and then we're back at the start. And this is kind of a cool way to basically have all the animations function properly. So you see the lights flicking back and forth, you see the aliens dancing, and that's just because I have one animation that is on four steps of a sequence and the other one that is nested inside of that on two two-step sequences. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of really it on animations. Just figure out your first step, move to the next sequence, third sequence, fourth sequence, and if you're on the same floodlight panel, just toggle the specific floodlights that you need. Or if you're on individual panels, just turn on the floodlights, turn them off, move to the next one, turn them off, move to the next one, turn off both of these, then turn on this one down here. So it's kind of just a step sequence. It's relatively simple, and hopefully this can inspire you guys to do some pretty cool things. I know someone in our community um, by the name of Evit is already working on a, how do I say this? Something that is never going to give you up if you catch my drift. Um, and I can't wait to see if, if that goes further, if they continue that project at all. But thank you all for watching. Hopefully, as I said, this inspires you to do some pretty cool stuff. If you do, definitely send it our way. Send it in the Discord, uh, ping me on Twitter, or comment on YouTube or anything like that. I always love seeing people's creations. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, everyone.